Hello and welcome to my presentation. Today I'll be discussing the wedding of Josh Evans and Abby Jane. The wedding will be a spring wedding as the date chosen is Tuesday 14th of April 2020. Okay, so the requirements of the couple which was um, discussed. So um, the budget will be a £10,000 budget. The wedding would uh, not be held in the spring. They would like a civil ceremony as they're a non-religious couple. They also wanted a wedding which would fit around their teacher schedule as they are both teachers, so school holidays would be preferable. They also wanted an intimate wedding as there are only 45 guests and this is including five children. So the wedding that they were envisioned was a traditional wedding, however with some unique elements so it wasn't too traditional. Okay, so initial ideas. The theme of this wedding was going to be rustic, vintage and elegant. So not being too glitz and glam, being minimal but still making a big impact. The colours we have chosen were different shades of blue, so as you can see teals and light blues, white and gold. So the ideal venue choice would be something unusual but still picturesque, so following through with that traditional but still unique. So the venue that was chosen is the Mill Barns, which is licensed for civil weddings. Um, this particular venue was chosen due to the fact with the increased popularity of barns um, holding weddings and civil ceremonies. And so it's in a great location for the couple, as it would be only a 40 minute um, drive from their current location. And it's also um, has access to a motorway network too, so it would be easy for the family to be able to travel there. So the um, space itself can hold up to 170 guests. However, they can um, tailor the wedding for more intimate um, weddings, which would be in this case with um, 45 guests. Also, there's great photo opportunities for this um, barn with eight acres of a beautiful garden, so there'll be great photo opportunities indoors and outdoors. So they're exposed to the beams, beams to the um, wheel barn. Um, so this would look perfect against the colours in which I've chosen. So with the golds and the blues, I think this would look really great with the wooden features. Um, or whether the wedding would be held, the ceremony would be held outdoors. This would be held at the, um, the terrace which would um, overlook some beautiful water, so again, great for both opportunities. The venue also has a um, bring your own drinks um, option, which is what the bride and groom have chosen um, in this case. They also have a design your own uh, food philosophy. So they also have a dressing room available for the bride, and this um, is from 10.30 on their wedding day. So the bride can use this to have the finishing touches such as hair and makeup. Also, the venue offers free Wi-Fi. So for guests that maybe want to um, upload photos to Instagram or Snapchat to use filters, they can do so. Rooms are also available for guests too. So if they've had a bit too much to drink, they can stay in the rooms rather than driving home. Also, when uh, researching this particular venue, there's a very high um, review score on Google with a 4.6, so I thought was pretty good. So here's some more pictures of the chosen venue. As you can see, photos can be taken externally or internally. And as you can see, there's some beautiful features with the wooden beams and the water outside. And here's a picture showing um, the beautifulness of the gardens. As here's a picture of the bride and groom, a picture which was taken in the gardens at the venue. Okay, so the price of this venue. So as we've already stated, the wedding will be on a Tuesday in April. So as you can see here, this will cost £3,950. Included in this price is the VAT, a fixed price promise, meaning the price will not change. A wedding night suite for the bride and the groom afterwards. An experience event, and this is for the bride and groom to come in and um, have a sample taste of the menu they've chosen. There is an event manager and an online wedding planner available for the couple. Again, a no call kids charge, and they have um, suppliers which they've personally handpicked to suggest to the couple. 
I will now discuss um, my mood board, which I've created. So as you can see here, here is a range of images that I've um, chosen to suit for this wedding. As you can see, all matching and following through the theme and the colour scheme. So firstly, the wedding attire. So we've gone for sticking with traditional, but not too untraditional. So we've gone for a lacy fitted dress, not um not white, as this is kind of going out of trend now. And for the man, a navy suit with gold accents to match with the theme. So a um tie and that sort of thing. But again, for the attire, this is selective to the bride and groom as this is personal preference. Other images including, so um, the table decor, so the idea of using fake um, petal flowers, which still go with the colour theme. Also, some biodegradable confetti. These are shaped in hearts, I thought it was quite a cute um, thing to do.